Okay, so Marlon, um, how do you feel? So far, I don't know. I doing feel, runs. I feel how does it feel to drive the F1 in Manila, the at, car? At the moment, I feel really speechless. You know, it's it's really a big, great feeling. I mean, here also around Moa, it's a second venue. It's not very often actually with a road show that you get to go to two venues. Yeah. And it's it's quite long. It's almost three kilometers long. So parang feeling ng uh, Manila Grand Prix in a way. It feels like I'm about to race or something. So it was really, really cool experience. So this is your second time to ride to drive the F1. Yeah, right? yeah. Because the first time was in the Paul Ricard. Yes, so yes. How are you feeling in the car? Anything different from when you drove it the first time? I guess I'm more used to driving the car fast because in Paul Ricard that, that was about just getting up to speed. But here it's more about putting a show for the fans. So obviously we don't look at data or anything and it's just uh, one of the very rare opportunities you can just sit in and just enjoy the ride basically and that's what I've been doing trying to soak up the atmosphere. Now when you're driving what are you con what are you focusing on? Uh, just uh, the road of course the safety for the fans I mean if you if you guys come tomorrow to Moa I urge you guys please just stay in the sidewalks you know it's, it's all it's all about safety at the end of the day and we don't we want to put on a good show and of course not harm anyone. I mean, it, these cars are quite fast, so you guys just please stay on the sidewalks. I mean, they, they've been the fans have been yeah. great, the supporters they've been safe anyway. So we just want to keep that up. How fast do you think up. you've been going? I, I got up to fifth or sixth gear, so that's fifth like sixth gear. Wow. 260 down, even a non highway. So I didn't get fined, luckily, by the police, so that was okay. And it's up to seven gears. It's up to seven gears, so maybe I can reach seventh later or tomorrow. So we'll see how that well, goes. Well, you're making history again. Yeah, thank you, Diane. Driving the F1 here, you, you're starting the whole thing, and yeah. I can just see it really rolling. Yeah, yeah, it's a. Uh, we'll just have to keep it up. And uh, again, I'm thankful to the Lotus F1 team, to Globe Tattoo yeah. for partnering with us in this event and supporting my career. And just hopefully this this snowballs and we get yeah. more support, yeah. more more backing, more sponsors to really get to F1 because it's only that little bit more now yes. and we can we can I reach know, I there. I can feel it. Yeah. yeah. After the gala night last night, I really sort of like was able to grasp it more. Yeah. You're no. Just like at the tip. Exactly. You know I mean? You're so near. It's just it's it's almost about the summit. So <laughs> hopefully we can do that soon. And your next race is the is Monte Carlo. You were yeah. telling me that you're confident there because you won the race the last time so you should be feeling pretty good going to that race yeah definitely I mean last year of course I did the best that I could do and that was actually to win the race this year I know it's a bit of a harder task because it's World Series it's a step up yeah and uh, it's it's not easier the the higher you get I mean the cream rises to yeah. the top in the end so all my competitors are really strong but hopefully if I don't win it I can come in the top five and get some good points Marlon Stockinger with his F1. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Marlon, it says Marlon. Right there. Oh, That's so nice. You must be like feeling like you're dreaming. Yeah, I mean, it's on two cars. On 